यार तीनों अटेम्प्ट हो गए आर टी क्लियर नहीं हो रहा यार कहाँ पे दू यार पता नहीं दिल्ली में दू मुंबई में दू या कोलकाता में दू कहाँ पे क्लियर होगा पहले डी जी सी ए क्लियर करूँ या आर टी एग्जाम दू वेल डिड यू हैव वन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर हेड वेल यूर ऑन द राइट वीडियो लेट मी हेल्प यू आउट इंट्रो So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you clear RTR exams as soon as possible and efficiently. Point number one: selection of the right center. Now, if you guys don't know that RTR exams are conducted in different cities every two months, which means that you have six attempts in a year. The cities where these exams are conducted are Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, and once again back in Delhi. Now why I'm mentioning this is because Mumbai and Delhi are the main centers where most of the students go and give their exams making it more competitive by competitive I mean that the amount of students appearing for the exam and the amount of students passing the exam is very far away so in Mumbai and Delhi usually 1500 to 1800 students appear for the exams while the passing ratio of WBC RTR exams is usually up to 200 to 250 students per attempt and it never gone goes above that So my point is pretty straightforward. If you have a better chance of passing, it would be in Kolkata and Hyderabad because the amount of students that are going there to give exam is compare comparatively less than what it would be in Mumbai or Delhi. So next time you want to go for your RTR, plan these two cities. But wait, remember one thing: this does not mean that you do not give exams anywhere else if you are prepared. And that gets us to our point number two. So point number 2 that I want to put forward is that never go for these exams unprepared because the amount of competition these days is really a lot so if you're just going to go and appear for an exam it's just going to be a waste of time especially if the exam is in the same city that you live in like for example Mumbai do not ever go unprepared by that I mean that it's very important for you to either take guidance from someone who has already cleared the exam and knows about it or you take proper tutoring The reason why I'm saying tutoring is important is because these exams are pretty competitive and you need to know the pattern of the exam what the exam is basically of basically what they're going to ask and how to manage your time because you only have 25 minutes in this exam to solve five questions and that trust me is a task also some students have this thing in their head that if they fly for a certain amount of hours they'll know RT and they'll be able to clear the exam well let me tell you that the exam the rt that you are expected in the exam is literally different from what you would actually do while flying this is one reason why a lot of airline pilots who have got their rtr license from any other commonwealth country and who have to basically convert it back after a few uh, approximately 10 years have problems clearing this exam because they expect something absolutely different from what a pilot would do while flying and this is not the pilot for it is just how the exam is conducted and it is conducted this way for obvious reasons in order so that they know exactly that every one of you know the correct phraseology when it comes to aviation and which is very important for proper communication while you're flying as a commander or as a first officer before we go to the next point i would like to say that we are starting new batches at maverick aviation for cpl studies as well as rtr so if any one of you are interested you can surely hit me up on Okay something on the screen you can just check the description as well so with that let's continue point number 3 is never ever stop giving consecutive rtr exam attempts now a lot of students what happens with them is that let's say they appear for the mumbai attempt they did not pass they appear for the next attempt and they still did not pass they stop giving rt now let me tell you please do not do this now the reason why is because you lose touch of the subject now rt is a language if you don't practice it again and again you're just going to forget it especially if you have taken tutoring or if you have taken classes from somewhere you're just going to forget it if you do not give attempts so i would suggest that a student who is just starting their career in aviation or you know who is just stuck with rt do not miss these attempts you know just for the sake of it 
try to give as many as possible and try to study and go that is what is more important don't have this thing in your head that i'm not going to clear it in the first attempt that is absolutely wrong you can easily clear your rt exam with proper guidance and if you know what you're doing and what you have to do and what the examiner expects from you to add on to this i want to say that since these exams are in different cities it also costs a lot to travel to stay for your accommodation your food etc so whenever you plan your rtr exam have a proper thing in your head that let's say that you're from mumbai and if the mumbai attempt is coming it is really important for you to prepare for this attempt do not just go for this attempt from the point of view that i am going to just try how the rt exam is why do you want to try when you can clear it just give it all and get it done with Point number four that I want to put forward is referring to the correct study material. Now, study material for RT is very diverse. You know, you have around hundred plus papers. The papers can repeat in most of the exams. And if you know and if you have the proper materials, you should focus both on RT Part One and Part Two. Now, for those who do not know, Part One is basically a transmission exam. You have to transmit, you have to write, and you have to even listen to your examiner. So it is very important that you practice it in that way. Never read through your material. Never just read it like a book. Okay, that is not gonna help you because in your exam you will be expected to perform it out. You will be expected to listen to your examiner. You will be expected to say it back, reply, as well as write down both the replies. So you know it is very important for you to write it down and practice and time yourself. Give yourself the same 25 minutes which are there. Take a paper from the previous attempts. and do it that way do not just read through it because you're never going to remember in the exam when it actually is in front of you just to add on to this point i also want to say that when you're practicing make it a habit to talk to someone make it a habit that you are transmitting just like you were doing the exam in the exam you're the student the examiner is right behind you and he's also with a set of headset so you both can hear each other So if you have a friend who is also giving your exam you both can practice out that way he can sit for one for one paper he can be your examiner for the next you can help him out so that way you actually create a scenario where you are actually giving the exam or like a mock up test which will really really help you to get better results and to even do proper time management the last and the most important point that i think when you appear for an rtr exam is to keep in mind that you have two parts to it What I'm trying to say is that never give more weightage to part one or part two. Keep it equal. Now we already spoke about part one in the previous point. So in this particular point, I want to speak about part two. Now part two is like an interview, and in an interview, it's more about your confidence. If you have the proper confidence, if you can talk out your things properly and convey your message properly or give your definitions accurately, the examiner will surely be impressed. Now if you have cleared your part one with good marks. It is very likely that you will also clear your part two, provided that you show that amount of confidence. Now, obviously, if you do not say anything in the exam, no examiner is going to pass you. So, do not just practice pass part part one. Ki you know, from thinking that I don't know if I'll clear part one. Let me just focus more on part one. And what happens? Most of the students clear their part one and then they do not pass the part two. Well, that does. You have to again give the part two in the next attempt, and all your hard work is down the drain. Now, what to prepare for part two is again a big mystery for me till now because the examiners absolutely ask anything. They can ask you anything from your flying. They can ask you anything from general navigation. They can ask you anything from radios. So you know the portion, the syllabus is quite huge. So you need to actually prepare everything. For me, let me tell you, they asked me a lot about my flying. And to be honest, when I appeared for my RTR exam, I hadn't done much of flying. but that did not stop me from passing i still cleared the exam because i at least had studied what a pilot should know at that phase so it is important to do your ground work it is important to know where you are going to fly it is important to know what you do in the basic flying and what basically in the initial hours of your flying you are going to be taught so at least the examiner has some idea that this student knows something and he will learn more as they you know go ahead in their career I would like to add one more point is that RTR exams should be given along with your DGC exams. Please do not consider them that I'll give my RTR exam in the end because you know what happens that just keeps it there. You clear all your DGC exams and then a lot of students that I have trained face the issue that they are really stuck up onto the RT and that results in delay in their flying. 
delay in getting the CPL and everything after that. So never ever keep your RTR exams for the later part. You can appear for RT with only one thing that you have 10 plus 2 and you have your age that is 18 years. You should be 18 years old during the time of examination. That's all guys. You just need that much. So I would suggest all of you watching this if you're an aspiring pilot or if you're, you know, through your halfway through your CPL career, so your CPL training, start giving your RTR exams. Do not keep it for the later part of it. It will just keep piling up and you will just delay your own license. So I guess with that, I will end this video. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like and do not forget to subscribe on the channel. If you are new around here, I make a lot of content with respect to aviation and also my daily vlogs. And with that said, I think I will end this here. So till then, stay safe, stay home, take care. And like I always say guys, stay golden. Bye.